right, guys. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss Microsoft Sway. Microsoft Sway is a presentation application located in the app launcher of your Office 365 account. So right here. Sway allows you to combine text, pictures, videos, and other media to create awesome presentations. Sways can be used for digital newsletters, class presentations, and much more. I currently use Sway to create our district technology newsletter. So let's jump right in. Remember, you access Sway via the app launcher of your Office 365 account. I'm gonna click Sway right here. Once you open Sway, you have the option to begin from a blank Sway, start from a document, or you can utilize any of these pre-generated templates. By clicking the More Template button, you'll have access to additional templates. For the purpose of today's tutorial, we are going to start perfect. So you automatically are given a title card. Think of your cards in Sway as slides in PowerPoints or in Google Slides. So I'm going to, for the purpose of today, the, not, the title of my Sway will be Welcome Back to School. A Sway could be a great way to send information to your parents, your staff members about um, opening, opening school or open house procedures. So I'm going to type that. In your box, when you add text, you have the option to emphasize your text, which is bolding it, or you have the option to accent, which will italicize your text. You also have the option to link your text to a URL here. You notice to the left of your text, you have a background or the option to add a background image. By clicking that button, you are automatically given um, a, a box to the right. If you notice, based on my title, I have some options already generated through a Bing search. So I'm going to continue to click. I'm gonna, I want to choose the welcome back to school for images. So based on my title, your Sway is going to look for images that match what you type in for your title. If none of these images work for you or you already have an idea of what you would like to use, you can click the suggested drop down and upload images from your own device. I actually like this picture, so I will drag it across to be the background for my slot, for my sway. So now we have an image for our title. A question I get from time to time is the, the use of this focus button. You notice now that we dragged an image over, we have the focus button. By clicking that, it's telling, it's asking you if you want the, how you want your picture to be displayed. So down at the bottom, we have a preview of what the layout will look like on various devices. I can click in the image, and if you notice, my preview is changing. If I want the entire picture to show, like those sneakers down there, I can click this checkbox that says the entire image is important. I can reset. Okay, so that's what that focal focus point does. And once you're done, you just exit out. Now let's add some more content to our Sway. To insert content, simply click the plus sign, and then you are given several options of the type of content you want to insert. By inserting a heading, you will notice that that card looks very similar to your title card. Same thing. I can even type, let's see what happens when I put open house up here. But notice I just use the, the search button. So let's just drag that over. Perfect. So now I have a heading. Now, if I want to uh, add text about open house, I hit the plus sign and I will click the text button. So here I might be able to give the start time where um, schedules
Very good. So any text that I want. So if you notice when we're in a text box, we have different options for our text. We still have our em emphasize and accent, but we also have the option to bullet or to number. And again, you have that option to link. To the right, you'll notice that there are two emphasize this card. So I can do a subtle emphasis, which will make that card small, or I can do a moderate emphasis, emphasis which will make it larger. And again, you have that trash can if you want to throw it away. So let's kind of preview so you can see the difference between our emphasis. To preview your Sway, simply click the play button and we can see what our Sway looks like. Remember, we, we emphasize this text, which is why it's in a different color. And click and there, that's what it looks like. To return to the edit mode, simply click the edit pencil. So if I like that or let's see what happens when I make it larger with my emphasis. So if you notice that emphasis on the card changed the color. So you could just play around until you find whatever works best for you. So let's look at more content to add. I did a title card. I did a heading card and text. You also have the option to insert images and you'll get this drop down. You'll still have access to this. Remember, if the images you search are not what you want for your Sway, you have the ac access to your device to upload your own images. You also can upload from OneDrive. If you use, um, if you want to embed a YouTube video, you can also do that. For the purpose of today, I'm going to go back to images to see if I can find some stuff. Okay. Okay. So let's put that picture in there. I like this picture. So if you notice, as I drag pictures over, they give me another box. They're they're listed separately. You can add captions to the pictures if you would like, but it's not necessary. It's not required. And remember, do you see now? I have all those different options for my pictures. Let's see what happens when we add a stack. A stack of images is just like that, just like what it sounds. It's going to stack your images so that they appear in a stack of images. So I will preview so that you can see the difference. So the pictures that I added manually, you see how they stand alone, but my stacked images are like stacked, stacked pictures. So I like that. Okay, um, so that, that deals with that, that's there. So let's look at one more option. So plus sign, what other things do I want to add? I can upload a document or an image myself. I also want to show you, I'll add a text. Or no, um, media, we haven't done media. So under insert media, you have the option Under insert media, you have the option, of course, to look at embed a picture, which we've already looked at. Videos, if you choose video, it could be a video you have saved on your device, or it could be a video from YouTube, but you have the option to also insert audio. Let's take a look at that. In your insert audio card, you can have already pre-recorded audio that you wanna upload here, or you could use this button, the microphone record button, and record your audio live, like right now. So I can allow my microphone, it's gonna give me a countdown and say that it's ready, and then I can begin to record my audio that I want. You have a cap of five minutes, but remember, for the purposes of a Sway, you probably wouldn't need more than five minutes. Once you are done recording, simply click the stop button. You can play it and preview that. You need to re-record or throw it away, you can do so. But if you are happy with your recording, simply add to your Sway. And you'll notice that this will be spinning depending on the length of your uh, recording. So don't worry if it seems as though it's taking a while. So you see this bar, that little green dot, this bar would need to fill in all the way in order for your Sway to be ready. So we've talked about adding content. The next thing I want to show you guys is how to change the design of your Sway. Remember, you preview your Sway by clicking the play button to see what it looks like. You're not happy with the design 
the design of your sway as is. Simply look at the tab that says design, click there, and now you're gonna have some options to edit your sway. So I click the design tab, and then over to the far right, I will cho choose the option of styles. This is where you get to customize your sway. So the first option you have is the direction of how you will navigate through your, your sway. Remember, so ours, if you remember over here on the left, I have a preview of it, it's moving horizontally, meaning I have this navigation bar and I can move horizontally through my sway. I could change the option for it to be vertically, and then we could scroll down, or I could choose the option of slides, which is kind of reminiscent of what it would look like in, in like a, a slide presentation. After your navigation options, you have the options to customize your colors and textures and all the backgrounds that you see. By clicking the customize button, you can change the colors, the fonts, and you could also change the size of text to be subtle, moderate, or intense. On your animations, I, I usually stay with moderate, or you can make your text size increase, okay? If you like whatever changes you made, you just go back and it'll save them. Now, you could customize the, the template that you get, or you can scroll through the several options and choose one that's right for you. Sometimes I get a little too excited with changing all of my uh, backgrounds and colors, and I just click this button at the top that says Remix. Remix changes your slide layout and colors and everything for you, and you don't have to do anything. So you could just click right here and keep clicking Remix until you find something that's just right for you. And that's it, guys. You've created your first sway. Now, the next thing I want to show you guys how to do is how to share your sway. The top right-hand corner, there is a button that says Share. By clicking there, you will have several options. You can share your sway with a specific group or people, or you can share with people in your organization. If you choose this option, that means that you only want people in the Newton County School System domain to be able to view your sway. I typically stay clear of that option. I generally use the option that says anyone with a link. Um, as a classroom teacher, I would create sways for my parents and students, and I would select this option to ensure that everyone could have access to my sway. So everyone, anyone with the link would be able to view it and see how I have the view dial selected. Now, there are some cases where you might want to share edit access to your sway. So I work in a team and we are we collaborate on documents and maybe I want them to have access to add to this sway or I want them to make edits if I've made mistakes. I would share this link, hit edit and copy it and send it to them via email. But remember, you only wanna give edit access to people that you trust and you want to have access to change your sway. Aside from that, stick with the view only link. And the same thing applies there. You click copy, you would copy that to an email and you would be able to share your, uh, your sway with them. You also have the access to share on so various social media platforms or you can embed, get an embed code for your sway. The last option for sharing is getting a visual link. So instead of your traditional URL for your Sway, you have the option to get a visual link. It's going to take your picture from your Sway title card as the visual. And now this, if I copy that into the email, instead of it being a URL, it would be an image as a link. So those are pretty cool when you share in emails as well. So those are all of our share options. Super, super easy to create, but these are awesome, awesome options if you're looking for a way to engage both either your teachers, your parents, or your students in digital um, creation. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. That is all for today. Bye, guys.